Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 12, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell from this to see our newest studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have rallied a little bit. We are up 0.17% uh, at this current stage. It looks like we are trying to get to the a very high here at 1423 we are getting very overstretched here in the bullish band and it looks like we are about to pull back but that is kind of the target we may rally but then we'll have a very steep drop towards the support down here at the 50 moving average or probably the 20 exponential moving average technically otherwise uh, the macd is very bullish the stochastic is bullish the cci is bullish but the rsi is leveling off in this flat at this current stage and it's also overbought so this could be the target, but uh, we are pulling back now at the end of the U.S. session. And uh, if we get a red cow secure tomorrow, then that could mean that we'll fall back to support as we are overbought and overstretched. And usually when this gets overstretched, it tends to pull back way back towards support. Here you can see that it pulls back towards the bottom of the bullish band. Here kind of in the middle of the bullish band. So if we were to drop from where we are now to the bottom, that's a drop of 2.65%. If you drop to the middle, that is a drop of 1.49% to the downside. So, yes, we're getting over very overstretched, very nice run. But we also have previous support, a resistance that should act as support now, which is at 14.0. So that could also be where this will basically bounce from if we fall. So if you look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. We can see that we have an upper trend line here, and then we have basically broken down today. So we're down 0.24%, and we are just hanging around at the same level. So at 100, 118, 405, that's where we're hanging at. We could drop from here. We'll most likely find major support down here at 117, 754. If you look at technical indicators, they are kind of flat. So MACD is flat, uh, RSI is flat, CCI is flat, stochastic is bearish at this point, but it is turning around. We are right here in the middle of the bullish band. So if we were to rally, we'll most likely find resistance at this upper resistance line. Break below the middle of the bullish band may open the door to the bottom here at the 117, as I was speaking of. Why we also have the 100 moving average right at this same level. So let's look at the euro US dollar. And as you can see, we have broken down today. We have been um, above this upper uh, trend line now for the last uh, three, four trading days. And uh, we are pulling back, but we're still not trending underneath that. We may fall underneath and find major support down here at the middle of the bullish band at the 1208. If we were to drop further than that, then we could drop towards the very bottom here at the 1200. If we look at the technical negatives, we can see that the MACD is flat, but it's still in bullish, ter bullish territory. We had the RSI is flat, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish, but it is turning around at this point. So I'll draw from here, most likely find a major uh, resistant uh, support, and uh, sorry, at 12.00. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, and as you can see, we are also testing these previous resistance again, and still it is holding. So if we were to rally from here, then we are most likely going to target 0 0.8, which was the very highest here back in, in February, 15, uh, 25th of February. And uh, at this current stage, it kind of looks like we are going to pull back before rallying towards the upside. It has been a really nice rally here. Kind of depends on the US dollar. If that starts to depreciate, then we may see this uh, basically uh, rally to the upside. If you start to appreciate, then we may see this fall apart to the downside. If you look at technical English, we can see that MACD is still bullish. The RSI is flat, the CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish, but it is turning around here. So it may be an indication that we'll fall towards the middle of the bullish band at 0 0.77 or even the bottom of the bullish band at 0 0.76 before continuing higher. So let's look at our US dollar, Canadian dollar, and uh, we are still hanging around here just underneath the uh, lower uh, trend line. We could actually lower this a little bit, so we're kind of right on the same area. So at this point, due to the fact that we are fairly overstretched and significantly oversold, uh, I do expect us to basically pull back towards the, the 20 exponential. That will be uh, resistant, so we'll turn the 40 exponential up here. 
And uh, yeah, I don't think there's a room to the downside. But if we were to break down below here, then we'll drop significantly. That only means that we'll have a massive rally on our hands uh, uh, probably the day after. If you look at the other technical indicators, we can see that MACD is very bearish, stochastic is very bearish, and so is the CCI at this point. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.